is what happens when you don't take your meds. <laughs> This is why I don't believe in the legalization of marijuana. This is exactly why I don't believe in the legalization of marijuana. Right here on the Western Washington campus, she's going nuts with the Trump sign. With the Trump sign. She doesn't like the Trump sign. Is it okay if you stop? Oh no, it sounds really, I thought something was wrong. Yeah, I'm cool She's anti-Trump. I don't think it's appropriate to have her screeching though. Yeah, that's gone. that's her decision, not mine. Come on, buddy! Come This apparently is an art, folks, this is an art major. She's, she's an art major. Art is really going downhill. The arts are really going downhill. The arts are going downhill, folks. This is an art major. I cannot find some adult, adult supervision. Well, a tour of West Tennessee turns a bit terrifying for our congressman. A local woman has been arrested, accused of targeting the Republican lawmaker. WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News reporter Eric Perry talked to officials. He joins us now live in studio with tonight's continuing coverage. Eric? Brad Kelly investigators in Weekly County say Congressman David Kustoff was followed for several miles. And at one point, they say the woman not only approached his vehicle, but tried to reach inside. A special visit from Congressman David Kustoff. This week I've been uh, on a farm tour visiting farms and agriculture all across the 8th Congressional District. But not everyone has been welcoming. It's rather uh, traumatic if you've never been in a situation like that. 35 year old Wendy Wright is charged with felony reckless endangerment after she's accused of repeatedly following the Germantown Republicans vehicle. Uh, follow them and placed her vehicle in a manner next to them where they felt that they were being um, forced off the road. With Kustoff, his aide, and driver inside, Wright reportedly followed them several miles outside of Martin, and when they stopped, jumped out of her truck and beat on the windows. And the driver uh, lowered the window enough to try to ask her a question, and she reached in. At that point, they uh, started to drive off, and she placed herself 
in front of the vehicle. It's okay okay to disagree and to have discourse, but you, you need to be civil about it. Dr. Todd Winters was in an agriculture meeting with Kustoff right before the incident and was alerted to what happened. You know, I was trying to figure out how, you know, who the student was and how they would have known or who this person was, I guess, because I didn't know it. At that time, she was a student. The sheriff says Wright was driving a Dodge pickup truck with a University of Tennessee license plate. She's currently free on $1,000 bond. And the Weekly County Sheriff's Office says Wright was not armed at the time. They also say they would have provided extra security if they would have known the congressman was in town. Live in studio, I'm Eric Perry, WBBJ 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Eric. Investigators say Wright is not cooperating and will not say why she's so angry with Kustoff. We asked the congressman for comment, but he referred us to Capitol Police. They tell us they cannot comment on an ongoing investigation.